Hello and welcome to my very first Roblox Showcase video. So, a showcase video on my channel will be used to so show some project that I've been working on. If you're interested in any of these projects and want to see a tutorial, make sure to comment down below. So in this video, I will be showing you my randomly procedurally generated maze using Prim's algorithm. So let's get right into it. So, before we actually get into the code of this maze, I first want to go over how this algorithm works. So, the first thing it does is it creates a 2D array, and all the cells in the array are blocked, which means, like, they have these, like, walls in them. And then, it picks a random block wherever on the array that it's highlighted in blue, and then it goes to all of the neighboring blocks around it and joins them together like so and it just repeats this over and over and over again until all of these red tiles which are the neighboring blocks are gone so it'll do this for the whole maze and then once it's done it'll stop and usually this sort of maze algorithm is used with walls like each cell has four walls but the one that i used each cell is either a wall or a passage walls obviously are these walls passages have no walls in them and then what the algorithm checks for is it picks a random one of these red tiles and checks to see where a tile that is a passage is and it'll just connect to that, and I'll delete the one in the middle. So, like, you can see over here, it just happened there. And it just repeats this until the whole maze is completed. And so now that we've gone over the basic idea of the algorithm, it's a lot more complex than what I just said, but it'll do. Let's actually look at my code. So this is the thing that actually runs everything. These functions you don't really need to worry about. They're just to get certain variables. And I have one function that just generates the maze. It's 25 by 25 in an interval of like 5 seconds. So let's change this to point 1 just so you can see a little bit faster. So this is how the maze generates on a quick basis. But there's actually a wait at the beginning. So let's just wait 10 seconds and it'll start. So there you go. You can see it generates pretty quickly. So those are just some parameters for the basic function. And by the way, my maze generator is a module script. So here is the module script in all of its glory. It's pretty complex. And it took me this took me a long time to do because there are a lot of really interesting problems when you're dealing with big tables in Roblox. Like, for example... What I had to do, I couldn't remove a value for some reason. So whenever I wanted to filter a table, like check all the elements, and if they didn't meet a certain like parameter, I would get rid of them. I always had to create a new table and just insert like the ones that are good into a new table list. And I have to, I had to do this for like the red cells as well. So here we go. I had just had to make a new list and then insert all of the items that fit a certain criteria so my bad and that's basically it so let me get up here this is the brains of the whole operation you can see how, how what i explained so i first create a blocked grid 2d array aka grid and i create this array so basically you can see the blocks like whatever hap is happening with the blocks but in reality the whole maze is just a combination of ones and zeros. And the zeros are represented by nothing. The ones are represented by the walls. And I just delete the walls when I want to change from a one to a zero. So actually, let me show you that now. So if I go down to... Here we go. So I set a the maze 2D array. I go into the 2D array. And then I destroy the wall of the, of the model. And here you can see like the actual loop. So I pick a random cell of the array, and then I mark it, which is basically just makes that little blue block. 
and then I check if the frontier, the frontier is the red cells, I check to see if that list is greater than zero, and then I pick a random one of those frontier cells, I make it into a passage, take it from blocked to passage, I found all the neighboring cells, which are the passages that are two blocks away, and then I just create I connect them using the midpoint formula. This is a basic math formula. And then we just recompile the frontier list, all the red cells, and we get rid of the one that we just like did. So let me run let me run this again just to show you one more time. You can see it starts with this blue cell and then it just spreads to all of the other red cells and it connects them. And I don't know the exact specifics behind it, but when I'm making this maze my criteria for it was that I wanted a lot of dead ends and like cuts and it does exactly that but you might notice one problem with this maze generation algorithm is the fact that there is no definitive start and finish because prim's algorithm the algorithm that I'm using is actually used for like electrical engineering to find like the shortest path for like a wire to travel but it's just randomized so it just makes a cool looking maze, except the maze doesn't really have a start or a finish. But that works perfectly for me, because this whole maze project is meant for a game that I'm working on. I might explain it in a future video, like in a devlog, where I don't really care about a start or finish. All I care about is like finding little alcoves and like putting little like treasure chests there, and the players will have to pick them up. But if you guys want to me to elaborate on that game concept and show you videos through my progress through that game development, then make sure to comment down below. But that's about it for this video. So I know I didn't go too in depth in the script. That's because it's almost 200 lines long, and this is me like compacting it a lot. So it's pretty complex. And to be honest, I don't understand Prim's algorithm very well either. I based all of my code here off of a forum. I will link that down below. And the forum was actually written F sharp, which is so different than Lua. It was very hard to translate, but I managed to get it to work through all of the weird quirkiness of Lua. But it works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link a project download in the description. So if you guys want to check out my maze, look at my code, then you can do that. But other than that, I hope you guys have a nice day. Make sure to like and subscribe, and goodbye.